It has only three wheels, two doors, and doesn't even have a steering wheel. But its creators think this could be the future of urban transportation. Okay, so this is the uh, pod and I've just ran it for a while. And uh, as you've seen, it's very agile and you can see there's no driving wheel, just a joystick and it's very comfortable because you are like in a seat, just driving in the city with this wonderful view around you because you are seeing everywhere. And uh, it's a real new way to drive into the city. The main advantage, of course, is that it's no polluting cars. Uh, you're running for free emission, without emissions. And um, then after it's also the cost because uh, it's very cheap to use and cheap to buy. The world's approximately 600 million passenger cars burn more than 1 billion cubic meters of fuel every year. But Father Son team Cyril and Guy Neg think they have come up with a solution at their lab in Nice in the south of France. Which is very special about the airport is the energy we use. We use compressed air to drive it. This is a very clean system, a very economical system, and the airport is very adapted to the city. The compressed air engine works uh, very simply. Uh, it is uh, just using the air we've just compressed into a tank. And then we use this compressed air to move some pistons into the engine that drives directly the crankshaft, goes to the wheel, and the movement drives the car. The idea of powering a vehicle using air is not new. Compressed air systems have been used to power trams in France since the late 19th century. In the early 20th century, an Anglo-American company produced a car they claimed could run 100 miles on liquid air. And yet none of these has been a commercial success. The AirPod produces a fraction of the emissions of standard engines, although it produces similar emissions to electric cars. But its manufacturers argue that compressed air is a superior technology. It has some emissions if you compress it using electricity, of course, because uh, using electricity you will have some emissions at the point where you produce the electricity. But mainly this kind of system is typically adapted to use renewable energy to compress the air. If you use a wind turbine to compress the air, then the emission will be quite zero. There is air everywhere. We know that today to drive a car into the city we don't need a lot of power. And this is why we are using compressed air. And uh, behind all this there is a very simple uh, technology so it can be very durable, efficient and ecological. Of all its many advantages, the main attraction could be the price. Uh, the airport is going to cost around 7,000 euros and uh, I think that the first people that would like to buy it are the people that like new things, uh, technological things, and then after uh, the private people that uh, are very interested in ecological things and step by step, uh, as soon as the car will be on the road and people will know that uh, you just need 50 cents to drive 100 kilometers, then the other people will like it, even if they don't care about ecology. The fastest airport will be uh, 80 kilometers per hour and the uh, range between 150 and 200 kilometers. The airport has already caught the attention of India's car manufacturing giant Tata. On this day, a potential suitor from Brazil is visiting to assess the airport for the South American market. We sell uh, a lot of options uh, in uh, 17 countries to build the car. We have uh, a lot of, um, lot of negotiations with the um, Chinese uh, in the United States, uh, in South Africa, in French, uh, Italian. Because the world needs uh, a clean car. We've run the car for many times in the cities and we've seen the reaction of the people. They're amazed looking at this car which is so strange, so different. And they ask, very often they ask, is it an electrical car? Of course not. <laughs> we don't want to produce an electric car, an electric car. but uh, they, they were very impressed by the car, yes. At the beginning they were thinking that we were full. But, but uh, now I think that they've changed their mind and we can feel a lot of pressure containing this car because uh, it is a car that uh, disturbs a lot of uh, big companies. Mm -hmm.